Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to configure the uh, Ethernet IP module in Elytron. Uh, you can find this module on the Inductive Automation website. It has a good description to it. Uh, it uses UDP uh, instead of like TCP to for the uh, for the module. Uh, what it does is is making Initial looks like a POC or, or a virtual POC to any uh, Aaron Brady class of POCs like uh, control logic, uh, compact logic, or micro logic, um, or even a uh, panel view. It, uh, it allows you to use the produce the consumer text and uh, the, the low level CF messaging, uh, which is uh, using. Uh, a message instruction read or write to the uh, initial as a PLC. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and download this module. And it brings you to the Automation Professionals website. I'll download the version for me uh, for 8.1. And while I'm here, I'm going to download the EDS file as well, which is uh, useful for the uh, house links. Okay, so, and, and here you can download, you can find the documentation on this website. Um, so it has a pretty good menu that tells you how to configure the module. Um, in this video, I'm going to just use the basic uh, module and do some basic testing and just create the host for the initial. Uh, you can make it a host or you can make it a target. In this diagram, it, it shows you how to do that. Uh, and it's, it's showing you that the uh, the module is making initial look like a POC using Ethernet IP. It can talk to uh, control logic, micro logic, and compact logic or panel view. Uh, I haven't tried the panel view yet, but it will be another video. Um, so let's go ahead and configure that module. Let me go ahead and uh, import it. DS file okay so on my local host here um, I'm already in modules so I'll install that that module and I will just use, use the trial version Okay, uh, once you're here, you can go go to install the license or the documentation. And uh, basically now it's ready, you can create uh, the device and make uh, initial looks like a PLC or Allen Bradley PLC. Let's go to device connection, create a device. Here I just pick um, a host device, Ethernet IP host device uh, I believe I already have the name so uh, I'll call this Ethernet IP host uh, you have to give a unique serial number in case you have more than one uh, one host device and uh, start number stick zero the uh, IP address is uh, so I have here can say so here I pick two IP addresses. I have two IP addresses on my PC. So the first one is is going to be assigned to zip port number two, and the second one is assigned to zip port number three. You can keep the uh, the rest uh, default. So already you can see the the is uh, 
it's, it's there running, you can go back and edit that, or you can go to configuration. Uh, so under configuration, you can see that they provide you some sample data, data tag. Uh, some of these tags are UD, based on UDT that it defined here. Um, basically, the master I.O. has two member. One is uh, just uh, integer on integer one another one is pointing to uh, the other um, UDT so I think this one is yeah this one is just containing some integer and integer arrays so this master in would have this uh, type and we can try that later on so this text you can you should be able to see that from other PLC uh, either using uh, read or write message instruction uh, this XML import allows you to import the LX, L5X uh, file from uh, another PLC program so if you have the UDT Define there, then you can just import here so that you don't have to type this in. The same thing again. Um, so it's, uh, it's ready to go and we can test that. Um, again, either use a PLC to test that, but since this, uh, oh, this makes initial already a PLC, I can use initial itself to point, to look at, uh, create a device and looking, uh, at itself. So if I go back to the device connection, create a new device, uh, create a logic driver. Um, I'll call this initial enterprise PLC. My IP address, create a new device. So basically it creates the um, connection to the PLC um, but also uh, I can use uh, arch links to see to check my uh, Ethernet IP host device Okay, Let's see if I already have that defined. No, um, so right away it detects the uh, the host that I just created in emission. So if you use RS links, uh, classic or enterprise, you should be able to see this. And this way you can communicate to this virtual PLC using message instruction or producer or consumer tags. Uh, you can see the name and you can see the slot number port. So let's say I want to test the, um, connection and whether I can see the text. So since now I created a, a error Bradley PLC here, okay, at itself, I can go to OPC quick time. Mission PLC. So let's look at that master in. So I have a integer here. So since this tag is actually looking at the host, if I do the same thing here.
And if I write to it, so right away you can see uh, the tag is updated. So if you use this uh, to make Aaron Bradley, I mean, uh, it actually looks like an Aaron Bradley POC. Uh, you can also transfer other tags to uh, the host. Um, for example, you have another OPC server you're reading from into initialing and you want to expose those data point to other POC, Aaron Bright POC. So you will, you will, will have to, to transfer the data uh, within initialing uh, in a project to uh, write the values to this host so that the other POC can, can see that. Um, so this is it, so hopefully it worked for you and hopefully this video is helpful to you.